okay, we're gonna try to make these as interactive as possible, all right? So if you wanna interrupt me anytime, feel free. I was the guy in class that would just like, bah! just talk about it, right? The teacher is like, raise your hand. So if you got any questions, James is in the back. He's gonna come around just so we have the right audio for it. So interrupt anytime, all right? Cool, let's get to this. All right, I've done some A-B tests. I've done a lot of A-B tests and we're gonna break down some of the most interesting A-B tests that I've done, <laughs> all right? Just some social proof. Been in the app space since 2011. Started a podcast in 2013 on the side, right? To try to learn from my heroes in the space. So I interviewed the co-founder Shazam, created the Crossy Road, Mafia Wars, Color Switch. I try to talk to as many people as I possibly can, right? Through that, people start coming to me for marketing help. And so I end up leaving my corporate job to do App Masters full time. So theoretically, we're an app marketing agency, but I don't like to say I'm an agency. I'm a media guy. I like creating content. All right, again, more social proof. All right, I love this slide. And this is Rosie, who was at APS London. And she had this slide. I was like, Rosie, I'm gonna copy it. And it's like improving the monetization has 4X the impact rather than focusing on acquisition, right? And so really focus on the monetization side because it has a greater impact than just trying to lower your CPIs. So I'm gonna talk more of the top of the funnel. I know a lot of people were talking about churn and stuff like that, but I'm gonna talk more of the funnel. And again, we're gonna make it as interactive as possible. So loosen up your arms, because I'm gonna ask you to raise them. I know, so hard. All right, test number one, here's what we did. To engage or not to engage. Now I'm gonna kinda like pick some of the people, and I think that these aren't the most accurate slides, meaning calm does engage, but like, you know, for the beauty of the story, we're not gonna have them engage. So A, which is headway, they're engaging. They're asking for a lot of interaction during the onboarding process. B, calm is just like, hey, look at us, we're really cool. 90% of our members, blah, 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 social proof. So who thinks that A is the winner in this A-B test? Thank you, Nico, you're the only one. I appreciate you. <laughs> who thinks it's B? All right, more hands, cool. It's actually A, the more, the more engaged you can get your users, the better it is. Why? Because Lana talked about it, customization. People think that you're customizing the entire experience for them. And I actually thought that's what they were doing. I was using Splice and I was like, I think they're customizing this for me. But as I talked to more people, it actually increases conversions too. And the cool thing is, the more you engage, like you can see headway, super long. All right, I'll get out of the way. I don't wanna be in your guys' little photos. The more you engage, the more data that you have to then use in your acquisition. So if you're finding like people, I'm 35, 44 by the way, 35, 44 male who's interested in nonfiction books, they lead to higher conversions. Well, guess what? Go to Meta, find 35, 44 males who might be founders and get them, right? You can get them copies. So you can see super long paywall, I mean, onboarding experience with a lot of engagement. Oh, and when you're engaging, guess what you can do? You can have these screens that say, I'm customizing your experience for you. Even if it does nothing else, we've seen a 10% conversion uplift by just having this screen. Thank you, I love the laughs too. Keep those coming. All right, stopping. No interaction so far. Okay, let's get to paywall on onboard. Oh, okay. That was after account creation. Let's go back. So you can see the account creation was right here. Now you can skip it way up there. You can't skip it, so, but I created an account. Thank you. All right, paywall and onboarding. Here we go, you're on trading? All right, all right, here we go. So I picked on flow, period tracker. Onboarding, right, super long by the way too. So, and then the paywall, whereas B has no paywall. So here we go, who do you think, who thinks it's A? Who thinks you shouldn't have the paywall on the onboarding? It's too soon. Who thinks it's B? All right, cool. Thank you. Still no, no shows, but it is A. So you see 2X more sales. Granted, look, I know I get it. Before they even use my app, they're gonna pay me? Yes, you let the data speak for itself, right? It's data. I don't like opinions. A lot of experts, they base a lot of their stuff on opinions. I like to base it off of data. When I first heard this in 2018, by the way, I was like, what, really? 
and then it works, right? And so if you do nothing else after this event, say thank you to James, and then lastly, go put that paywall during the on your onboarding process. It does work. All right, you can see Calm does it, Headspace, no more robo. Now, where do people usually buy? So of the people who end up buying your product, not those non-buyers, I don't care about them that much. Of the people who end up buying, how many people think it's over 50%? How many people think the opposite? It's under 50%. Thank you, James. <laughs> it is around 60 to 80% of the people who end up buying buy during that onboarding experience. Yes, before they even use your app. All right. No questions. Okay. Discounting on onboarding. All right. Let's go to this test. Now, A has a discount. You say no to that first paywall, like flows like no. You want to save 33% off? Or B, you're like, all right, you said no, here, go on your merry way. So who, do you, who thinks it's A? Who thinks it's B because it's too soon? Ah, oh, Nico, it's A, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You want to have, why? I'll tell you exactly why. Back to my early, discount early. Look, I believe, I'm gonna talk a lot about funnels in the top of the funnel, like subscription, because for me, I like to think of phases. One, I gotta make sure there's product market fit. And how do I figure that out? I got paying users. So I'll worry about churn, subscriber churn, sorry, Vehe, a little bit later, once I've tried to convert them, right? And then I'll start embedding it in because I need to get product market fit. Look, I like to keep things simple. 60% to 80% of your people who buy, buy during that onboarding process. Rewards work. I've seen other ways, other strategies. Might share with you privately if you come and ask me, but they work. Discounts work, think with Google, right? 70, this is amplitude, 77% of your an average app loses in just three days, three. And then six days, this is according to adjust, six days users tend to keep an app before losing interest and deleting it all together. So that's why I say discount early and I'll use Headway as well. I just had them on my podcast, all right? We did a great live stream. I talked to Yeva who's and she talked, we talked about this. I'm like, tell me, tell me the secrets. You know, what's going on? Cause you guys do a lot of discounting. So here's their paywall, right? You say no, you're on the homepage, get free, get free you. This opens up. It opens up every single time. Second open and every app open, it opens up. Look at their discounting here. Now all their things are locked. All right, Lana said this, I think it was Lana. Like show your content, don't hide it behind a paywall. So that all their content is there. You pick a book. You see their paywall, you say no, they give you a 70% offer. Now, here's my opinion, okay? The best app that I've worked with has a 25% activation rate. Now, I see that as 75% said no to me. And so this discounting is to try to get the 75% to convert, not the initial 25%. And when I asked Headway, I was like, tell me, what makes the most money? They said, it's the main paywall. It's the $89 offer. Not this 30, obviously, because you need a lot more, right? It's a third of the, the pay, but it's that first initial paywall that makes them the most money anyways. So that's why I feel like you got a discount early on. You're my favorite person right now. Is this like a trend that you see across all apps, across all the categories of apps? I think so, but I want more data to prove that out. But yes. The users that pay the $90 of Prime like worried about this $30 option turn or ah, I don't have that data, but I don't think so because you would never see this if you were already on the 90 day offer, right? Because that initial paywall during the onboarding is where most people buy. And so they'll never see it. You can hide it, right? And I do know that it's working for a lot of my friends too, this showing this paywall, showing a, a discount right on onboarding, right? All right, test number four. I had to put just one screen to remind myself what the heck am I gonna talk about later. All right, this is a from Taplytics, but I wanted to grab this. Just look, the thing that I feel is the two places that you need to really optimize is your onboarding and your paywall, all right? Then you figure out the churn, all that stuff, subscriber churn. I feel like those are the two most important thing. Look, variation A, so I'll just tell you the backstory. So today ticks, you live with them? They're like, hey, I want to get more people. They, they didn't know about this rush ticket stuff, right? Do I have a little pointer? Oh, cool. It's not working. All right. 
Anyways, they wanted to talk about that, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make you guys play a game. It was B, all right? Just by that one little screen that at the bottom that talked about the hidden feature that they had that not a lot of people knew about, they saw a 60% increase in registration and a 10% increase in subscriptions. So that's why I'm like, this whole thing was just to say, look, how one screen can make an impact. Now you don't have to A-B test. One of my clients, he had seven screens on the onboarding process. He's on his first date. He's like, what do you do? I'm like, I'm an app developer. Well, let me take a look at your app. Girlfriend, they're married now, decides to just swipe up after so many screens. So he went from seven to four onboarding screens and he saw an impact in subscriptions. So you're gonna have to A-B test. There's no right number into the number of onboarding screens, but I think the best practice is to try to get them to engage as much as possible. And some apps, long onboarding sequences work better, whereas certain apps, it's just like very short, three to five screens. Okay, test your onboarding. <laughs> there it is. So this is one of our clients too. We have a bunch of onboarding screens. Then we ask you to sign up and then we show the paywall. So here's what we did. We just flipped the two. And I was like, let's see what happens. Now, again, it is a hard paywall, meaning there's no X and there was no X to skip the sign up too. So just keep that in mind when, I'm, when you're looking at this data. But we saw 52, we saw twice as many paywall views because the number one metric that you're gonna pay attention to is your first open or install to paywall view. You're gonna miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? So his paywall views went up from 40 to 94% and his trial activations went up 190%, so that's three X and a 52% increase in sales just by flipping the two, right? Showing the paywall first and then forcing people to register. And you might be thinking, Steve, yo, 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 I need them to register. Like, otherwise I can't do it. Well, here's what comp does. They're like, hey, if you wanna, you can skip the sign up, but if you activate a trial, guess what happens? You can't do nothing else but sign in. And that's it. So don't give me excuses. All right, hard or soft paywall. Now he's one of our apps. A, B, the only difference, B has an X. That's it. See that little X, it just means close. All right, who thinks, let me reverse engineer this. Who thinks it's B, that one, the little X? Who thinks it's A, that one? All right, good job. Good job, everybody, it's two X more sales. Don't believe me, here's the data. We had a hard paywall, we launched with that. Now, again, Vitaly, where's my man? He talked about this during our podcast interview. He's like, look, from Adapti, he said, I was like, how would you launch a brand new app? He said, I would test a hard paywall. Why? And I was like, what the hell is a hard paywall? And he's like, well, it just means there's no X. And I was like, funny enough, we just did that. And my co-founder was like, hey, this is how we built it. And I was like, yo, that's scammy. I want people to use our app, love our app, and then pay for it. But the data says I was wrong, right? Now, again, you could be thinking, to Lana's point, short-term gains or short-term wins for long-term gains, or maybe it's a long-term loss. Now we're fixing it, right? In my opinion, we're at a point where it's a six-figure business now. Now I can start thinking about, okay, subscriber churn, right? If I'm not at the 10,000, I'm still at the 5,000, maybe that's enough. But now I'm like, okay, maybe test the soft paywall. We've already proved product market fit. Now let's test a hard pay or a soft paywall, right? Put that X. Okay. Now, if you don't wanna do that and be more aggressive, look, you can just lock up the content. And that works pretty similarly if you just lock up a lot of your content. Now, our app is very simple, so we can't do that. But if you have a lot of content, you can just start locking it up too. And same with Headway. So here's some examples of a stiff hard paywall. No X, right? Here's this jigsaw, free doesn't work. No X, they got some social proof here. Here's semi-hard paywalls. You got, I think it's Lingo Kids, but you hit view all plans, you then see this, and then you see maybe later. So there's really no X on that first initial paywall until you hit view all plans and maybe later, then you get into the homepage screen. Again, test it out, right? Here's another one I love. I love Zero. I've been using it for years. It's an intermittent fasting app. I have a no data on this, but I do want to test this. There are seven days free. That's their annual start trial. They're monthly. It's just the first month is $3, right? No trial. And then reuse at 60. I want to test this. I don't have any data yet, but this is very interesting. Guess what? There's no X, right? Five minutes later, literally, if you guys pay attention up top, it's 8.47 PM, 8.52. I get start using zero for free, no subscription required. <laughs> I tap on that, get the normal paywall. Suddenly the X appears and then I can use the app for free, right? 
look, they didn't have this when I started using the app. Do I pay them? No. <laughs> but would I have? Maybe. All right, <laughs> test number six, how many plans should we show? Should we just show one? Should we just show two? So here's an interesting one. This is for a very, very big client. So you know the data is statistically relevant, okay? All right, who thinks it's a $10 product? By the way, I had to just find a Figma on this paywall. So this is not the actual paywall. This is, I just need to recreate it because of this case study. Now the $10 a year has a seven day trial. That's the only difference between the two. B has no monthly. All right, who thinks A1 right here? Who thinks B1? Cool, A, it's A. You would think for a $10 product, here's what happened, all right? $10, nobody's buying the monthly. They're like, let's just remove it. Nobody's buying it. So they removed it and they, the sales just tanked. Why? Because you need to see some comparison. So I believe in the rule of threes, okay? And Adaptee, shout out to them. Most powerful combination is three plans. Now you have to test your LTV and all that jazz, okay? Because as you have more products, your LTV can actually go down. Products meaning more plans, right? So you're gonna have to test it yourself, but here's how I like to do it, and going to my, my paywall. The cheap plan, right? Monthly, weekly, for some categories of apps. Highest LTV plan, sometimes it's weekly, sometimes it's gonna be yearly. And then, yo, if you steal this, I know I said it first. It's the decoy plan, right? It's how do you get something so similar? So for our app, right? The monthly is 10 bucks, the annual is 60, about let's say 80% by the annual. And then the six month, which is semester, I know we worded it poorly, but is a complete decoy to get you. You know, if you think about like psychology, there's price anchoring. I like to do decoy just a little bit more gets you to the ideal outcome. So I'm trying to, yeah, Lana. Sure. You tried your ideal 60, saying that it's 100, having it cost about 40% off? I like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was three, all right. Don't forget our QR code. All right, next, number seven is test your call to action. Super important, okay? All right, so A, you have a star. The star just goes to the paywall. You see up top? B has a crown. All right, here we go. One last time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, need your hands. I need almost 100% participation if we can get there. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Hey, Fabio. Who thinks it's A? Wow. Who thinks it's B? That's everybody. Oh, look at that. Good for you guys. Okay. <laughs> it is B. We saw a 57% increase by just changing the icon around. Now, I didn't know at the time. I was looking at the client's app and I was like, yo, dude, I don't know about this star thing, but I've only seen a crown. And he's like, funny enough, Steve, we're A-B testing this right now. And I got permission to share it. Okay. So thank you. But he saw, you can see, you can see it. The crown had a 20% click-through rate. Now, the key is to track the subscription too, right? because we found that unlock everything, high click-through rate, not as impressive conversion rate. So unlock pro features, lower click-through rate, higher conversion rate. So think, don't just look at the click-through, think about the actual trial activation, but that simple icon change made a huge difference. And so the, the two places that most people buy are gonna be on your onboarding and your homepage. Those are the call to actions that I'd be testing. A lot of times I see like, what a GoPro, right? Like or get premium. Like, dude, that's nobody wants to get premium. Nobody wants to go pro, right? They want to unlock something. You can chat GPT. Chat GPT, tell me, write a sales copy. They're gonna start with unlock. Unlock anything. So unlock generally works better. So Blue Throne, these are I'm an advisor for the company, but they A B tested their call to action from get plus all the way to all these different ones. Which one? What do you think one? Olivia, what do you think one? One, two, three, four. Which one won? Three. Three, okay. It's actually four. I thought it was three, two. Okay, <laughs> so, don't worry. I get it wrong all the time. So that's what you want to do is just test that call to action as much as possible. That one little text change can make a pretty big difference. And this is a big app. So a 13% increase is a lot better. Look, get plus versus all these other things, one, right? Like get plus was the worst out of all of them. All right. There's some home pages. Here we saw 12x more revenue just by messing around with the homepage copy too and the paywall. And then here's call headway. So here's my 
big slide. Again, two things you should always be testing. Onboarding, paywall. Here's what I think is the best practices. Test on your own. I'm not always gonna be 100% right, but this is what I feel is the best practices. And these are the two areas that you should always be A-B testing. Okay, that's it. I got a QR code too, I thought I was being cool. You wanna check out our YouTube channel, we got close to we got over 30,000 subs, but just hit that. Wait, I heard applause, you can do an applause now. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, I do have a bonus, suckers. All right, <laughs> one last thing. I gotta do the apple, one more thing, right? Trials, now look, I know there's some debate out there. Should you have a trial or should you not? Especially for chat GPT apps, right, AI apps you incur costs. Now, one of our clients is an invoice maker. He ended up launching without trial. Then we switched it to trial. Not gonna play, play the game again, but we saw 420% increase in sales when we added trial. So I feel like during the onboarding process, here's a slide just to prove it, you should have free trials. That's my philosophy. But what if they said no to that initial paywall and they start using the app? Should you remove the trial? Now. It's a lot more work. You're gonna need like four subscription plans, one without a trial, one with a trial, right? Here's what one of my friends in the community saw. We did a YouTube video about this. So he removed the trial after you started using his app. He's like, uh-uh, no more trial. Because that trial, the sub rate is never gonna be 100%. The highest I've heard is like 70%, right? And so he removed the trial, he saw four, 3X, that's close to 4X, he saw 4X more sales, he made $12,000 without the trial, and he made $4,000 with the trial once they started using the app, right? So now it's a different paywall. There's no more trials, you're locking them out. But if you have premium features, consider removing the trial once they've started engaging within your app. One more time, I like that applause. One more, one more, one more. Thank you, thank you, thank you.